You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for another cap gun. This is a police cap gun, and I have some of these cowboy, 72 shots, cowboy shots. Uh, I haven't used these in a very long time. I've been using these super big bangs, so maybe it's a good time to compare the two. You could just tell in size. Well, I don't know. It's really hard to tell because these are doubled up. I'll find out in a little bit. So let's take a closer look at the cap gun and uh, the packaging. It says, police cap gun, police, oh, excuse me, 45. And then where it's from, ages uh, 14 and up. I don't think I've ever seen such a high age bracket, but maybe that's the way it is. Safety instructions, how to load. It looks like the cylinder moves up. We've seen guns like that before. Nothing on the back, but you know, I just look anyway just to be certain. Look at that. Police cap gun. It looks like a target also. And they hit one in the red zone. Let's get it out of the packaging. I will try to... I've been, I've been trying to save everything now. It seems as though some of these come out real easy and some don't. This way we can put them back in their original packaging and maybe pull out, you know, if we do a cap gun series with a bunch of them and compare them, we can. So, here we go. Let's see. Now, I'm assuming this just pops up. Ooh, there looks like, is there a, some type of little down lever here, but push it. Ah. It looked like there was a notch where you'd move it down, but it's just a push in. So you push in. Hmm. Well, oh, and that looks like the cylinder comes all the way out on that. I almost feel like it doesn't work now after one try. Let me get one of these in here. So these you just kind of pull off. And then put them in. Yeah, I lost my trigger back. And it's not advancing. Hmm. Whoa, did you see that? I've never seen that happen. That was almost kind of cool. <laughs> Let's see if I can figure out what's going on here. Let me try it again. The last one I just did by releasing quickly. I just went like that. But I think I'm stuck. I think I now have a broken gun. I can line up a cap and do that. It's close. Okay. So it looked like I would need to complete this. There's one, two, three, four screws there. I don't know if that's going to get me completely in. Yeah. Something inside has broken on my gun. So let me just do a few more while we're here. I missed. Missed again. Just trying to line it up just right. But it seems to want to turn when you put it in there. Ooh, that, okay. Trigger's working now. But it's not advancing. Oop. This is surprisingly hot. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I hear it. Do you hear it? Well, let's take it apart. The good thing is we heard it shoot, and it was worked for a brief second. Now, I'm assuming that it's it's totally gone. But let's see if we can even get in here. This is not an ordinary LPS video, that's for sure. But I do take a lot of toys apart. 
especially the electronic kids toys where you have to get in there and you have to see what's going on. This would not be normal to do. This is more for fun and my curiosity. Because I want to see what's in there. I might have to knock off the plastic tip, which I do not recommend. But it is my cap gun. And I can do what I want, right? I'm assuming there's a screw under here. So more than likely I'm going to be breaking this, okay? Let's see. There's a pin. Okay, so it's just like a pin. Let's get this under here. Okay, no, that side doesn't want to come apart. Let's try this side. That one seemed to come apart easier. Oh, there's no screw there. Very interesting. Let's see if we can split it before I go any further with the handles. I bet you there's a screw right there. Now remember, you're not supposed to take the plastic tip off for any reason. Okay, so let's keep this flat now. Let's see, I gotta get into this one. This is the section here that's holding the whole gun together. See, a lot of pressure in there. kind of investigating how this is all being held together right now before I totally dismantle this. Okay, so something is holding this. Let me see if I can sneak a peek inside. It looks like a metal piece of some sort. Gotta go with full pressure now. Nothing. if I can look on this side and usually when I do this kind of stuff it comes to you really easy you see it you just notice it at some point all right ah see one two more screws now me I'll probably have to glue that back in I didn't damage it too much just a little bit Kind of here and here. Except my thumb, I knocked a piece of skin on my thumb. Okay, and I want to be a little more careful here. The springs are popping out, I don't know. So this is the piece that actually is broken, see that? That looks like the advancer. I'm not sure I'll ever get this back together, and I'm not sure how much this video I'm actually going to use. This might be it. It might just stop here. I don't know. Okay, let's investigate here. So this is holding this down. Okay, so you're pulling the trigger. Got to be careful now. Let's just see what's going on in the mechanism. So that's that. This is coming back and striking. This is locked in there. Okay. Let me just let the video play so I can reference this here. So I'm just going to hold that there. I might have to reference it. So whatever this is, this looks like it's going to spin this. 
So let me see. What do I do next? Hmm. Now let's look at the size of it. It's going to fit over something. And then it's going to turn that. All right. Looks like it might fit somewhere here. Hmm. Right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop the video now, and then I'm going to study this a little bit more. All right. I'm getting closer to a resolution here, and I'm seeing now that the pin that this rides on, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little edge there, and this should have actually been on the other side. I think they, you put this in, then you put the pin in this plastic piece, and they meld it together, however they get it together, because right now it's sitting too high. It needs to be here. So a couple things I can do. I can try to press fit it on there, but I don't think it will do that. Or I can try to trim away some of the plastic, just to get it in place, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. So I'll be back. All right, so here's what I've surmised now, that there's just not enough pressure on this piece and just the way it's designed, either not installed correctly originally, I don't know, but I also added a little piece here, kind of all the points where pressure is put on in this section. And I'm ready, almost ready to go to put it all back together. Go. Looks like it'll at least somewhat stay in place now. That's all I want to do is get through one round of caps where everything just stays in place. Oop, that's easier to do that off the table. So now let's just see. I can squeeze in it pretty tight. So that's working again. See it popping out there? Let me do this. Let me put a roll of caps in because I could hold it really tight. Let me get one of the other types of caps here. And if I can hold it and it works, I'm accomplished something for now. I know it's been a long video, so here we go. Okay. Those are nice sounding caps. Okay, so for now, it's fixed. But how long that will hold, Ooh, look at the smoking barrel. So let me do this. Let me put it all back together and try it one more time. I'm hoping it's all going to work. Here, I'll put the screws on with you here. I have the tip and the super glue off to the side. I wasn't sure if I was even going to get to this point. But at least this way I don't want to let go of it now. It does feel tighter. All right, I'll come back and finish putting it together. All right, so I have all the screws in place, just not tightened yet. I've got some super glue so I can put my orange tip back on. You know, at least I got one full round off with you here. I think that is a, an accomplishment, just so you see that, yeah, things can be fixed if you just take the time to do it. And uh, you just have to, you like, take your time. Like, the best thing is to have a video camera nearby so you see how something comes apart and it makes it easier to help you get things back together. Or take pictures. A lot of times when you're doing this kind of work, you take pictures of all your steps. Super glue. This is a gel-based super glue. That should be more than enough. Grips. I'm not sure about these yet. I think they uh, needed to be glued, so let me dab some glue in there. Because if it works or not at this point, I'm not going to take it apart again. Because I've gotten one, let me put a little more in there, it doesn't seem to be. One good round. It would be funny now if I try it again and it doesn't work. But no, that wouldn't be funny. Now, wouldn't that be funny? All right, so I'm gonna get a rubber band. All right, I just need to get a rubber band for my grips there to hold them temporarily. And uh, we'll try one more time here. I don't know, we'll see. You see what I went through to get to this stage? Let's just see if that mechanism works. Yeah, it still works. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a second set. Just go slow. 
No rushing. It's advancing. Nice. So there you go. And thanks for watching. I know it's a strange video, but a lot of people do want to see what happens behind the scenes, and I just took the time to show you. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos in our toy gun series, look in the description or search our channel. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.